In South Florida, it's hard to go anywhere without hearing about hashtag Long Miami. The X, formerly Twitter hashtag, has become a slogan for local boosters trying to convince you that South Florida is now on the global stage. There's no doubt that the last few years have seen a gold rush for South Florida real estate, but how long can it last? In the latest edition of The Real Deal, we set out to answer that question. In a win for the Long Miami team, national figures like billionaire Ken Griffin and major developers like Whitcoff, Kushner, Naftali, and related companies Steve Ross have made big bets on the region. But that means that local developers have to keep pace with the big boys. In the issue, we profiled locals like brothers Inigo and Diego Ardid, who are betting big on Brickle, luxury condo developer and brokerage owner Edgardo De Fortuna, and newly minted South Florida resident Frederick Eklund. But beneath the hype, the cracks are starting to show. Office leasing is slowing, and the tech firms many people thought would swoop in haven't materialized. Development sites for sale have been on the rise as builders struggle to lock in financing and face lower returns as construction costs have been on the rise. Even the nationally hot multifamily market Market has seen slowing rent growth and rising vacancy. Then, of course, there's the affordability crisis and the looming threat of climate change. Already, hurricanes and flooding have sent insurance premiums skyrocketing, potentially threatening the long part of Long Miami. You can check out these stories and more in the latest edition of The Real Deal online and on doorsteps now.